Captain's log. Guybrush Threepwood. Lost at sea for days now. I have no crew or navigational instruments. No provisions except a half-eaten corn dog, and unless I find water soon, I'm surely done for. Only the hope of finding my love, Elaine, keeps me going. My quest for the fabulous treasure called Big Whoop has left me in this sorry state. I thought it would bring me fame and glory. Instead, it delivered me into the clutches of my enemy, the zombie pirate LeChuck. I had thwarted his evil plot to marry Elaine, and he was after revenge. Uh, really, really thirsty now. If only I could have a small drink of fresh water, I might have the strength to sail on. Oh, but I know there's nothing but ocean for miles and miles. If I could reach land, I might find water and some food. Fruit, maybe. Something to fight off the scurvy and help me get my strength back. Hmm, maybe some bananas. Oh, why do I torture myself like this? I might as well wish for some chicken and a big mug of grog for all the good it'll do me. Oh, my sweet Elaine. Am I cursed to starve here on this ocean without seeing your face just one more time? Am I... Do I have to tell you, LeChuck? I just don't feel that way about you. Elaine? By my congealed blood, you'll learn to love me. Sail with me, and I'll make you queen of the dead. I, I can't. I'm washing my hair tonight. Blast me your hair, woman! Can't you see that this salty old sea corpse pines for your every gentle caress? You know, I don't think my father would approve of me dating the undead. And you're probably too nice a zombie pirate for me anyway. Let's just be friends instead. Chuck, you're an evil, foul-smelling, vile, codependent villain, and that's just not what I'm looking for in a romantic relationship right now. Darn your riddles, you saucy female! What do you mean? Ah! Oh! You're a bloodthirsty monster who's already kidnapped me once, tortured my friends, and taken from me the only man I ever loved, Guybrush Threepwood. Ah, uh, how romantic. Ship ahoy! Threepwood! Fish him out. Guybrush? Guybrush, Threepwood, by my gangrenous gut. I don't know how you escaped my carnival of the damned, but you won't escape the taste of my blade! <laughs> ah! Oh, the lass has spirit. Throw him in the hold, I'll finish him after the battle. Turn loose the long boots! 
and prepare the flaming voodoo cannonball. I've got to get out of here and help Elaine. If I could only get through this one door, well, then I could easily overpower the armed guards above, slip over the side, and make for the shore. Quit your mumbling, captive! Blast ye scurvy dogs! Stand back! Aye! I... Are you wearing a fake beard? Blood knows the pirate would not have a fake beard. Yes, it is. It's been glued to your ear hair. Actually, it's a highly sophisticated beard weave, made from the chest and back hair of real pirates. I'm hoping it'll take root if I don't wash it for a while. Hey, wait a minute. You're not a pirate. Wally! Don't you recognize me? It's Guybrush Threepwood! Oh, gee. Hello, Mr. Wood. The last time I saw you, we were prisoners in LeChuck's dungeon. Why would you sign on with a ship of the living dead? Well, Mr. Brush, at first I had some misgivings about it. But thanks to LeChuck's seminars, motivational lectures, and audio books on Parrot, I've become a vicious Corsair. What's behind that door? Ooh! That's the door to LeChuck's treasure hold. There's heaps and piles of gold and silver. He's brought all the loot he's ever stolen to give to Elaine. LeChuck is convinced that he can buy Elaine's love. Hmm. What are LeChuck's plans? He's been working on a secret weapon. Some incredibly powerful cannonball. He's going to use it to blow down the walls of the fort so his crew can overrun the island. Set me free, Wally. I can't, Mr. Brush. I'm the evil pirate Bloodnose now. And besides, even if you got up on deck, LeChuck would cut you to ribbons. Snap out of it, Wally. That's Bloodnose to you, you scurvy sea bass. You're a failure as a pirate. Shut your trap, you yellow-bellied blowfish. One more peep out of you, and I'll do you in. Peep. Yes. Gabra Swab, one more word and I'll let you have it. Word. That's it. I'm gonna blast you. I'm gonna... I'm... gonna... <laughs> oh, I can't do it. I just can't. <laughs> You're right, Mr. Wood. I'm just not a pirate. I'm not ferocious or bloodthirsty or hateful or anything. I'm not even... I'm not even unpleasant. Oh. Ah! Oh, there, there. Now, with the demon flames of this voodoo cannonball, I'll blast my significant other into the significant other world! <laughs> That'll show her how much I truly care. <laughs> Neptune's navel! That was a close one! A bag of wooden nickels. Some treasure. Hey, there's a big diamond ring behind this bag. Hey, can anybody lower a rope? Hey, I can see the ocean floor. Guybrush? Guybrush! I thought I 
I'd lost you forever. Is it really you? Yes, Elaine. Um, did you really mean what you said out there? That I was the only man you ever loved? Uh, well, yes, Guybrush, I guess I did. Elaine, I'm a man of action. A swashbuckler, a rogue, a wanderer, a man who can hold his breath for ten minutes. I have no ties and no regrets. I sail with the wind and go where adventure takes me. But somehow, something always Guy leads Brush, me. Guybrush, stop babbling. Elaine, will you marry me? Oh, Guybrush. Oh, Wally? You're alive. But how did you survive the explosion? I was thrown clear. I'm just lucky I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. Wow, Elaine, that's some ring. Thank you, Wally. It's an engagement ring from Guybrush. Hey, that looks just like the big diamond ring that Chuck had in his treasure hold. You know, the one with that ghastly, disfiguring voodoo curse on it? Well, I'm sure Guybrush wouldn't have given you that ring. Anyway, I gotta be going. I hear there's a tattoo removal place on this island that's freckle safe. See you at the wedding. Guybrush! Uh... Oh no! Elaine? Well, she's not gonna be happy about this. Hey, I wonder how many carrots she... No, no, bad idea. know you from somewhere we have known each other for a very long time Guybrush Threepwood you've been through much so it is understandable that you have forgotten me we met on Melee Island when you were first trying to become a pirate hang on a second are we gonna do one of those flashback things they always make me nauseous no I'll make this quick I twice helped you defeat the evil pirate LeChuck, first by preparing the voodoo anti-route. I'm starting to remember. And then again by helping you prepare a voodoo doll of his zombie form. That's right. Boy, have I got some stories to tell you. Stories? Y yes, well, I'm sensing a great disturbance. I have to go. But I've got to tell you about LeChuck and Elaine. I'm going to disappear now in a big flash of light. Cover your eyes. No, 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 wait. It started back on Dinky Island. Now, I knew LeChuck was close. I'll be disappearing here any moment. Okay, okay, no stories. Yes, there's no time for that now. I sense that something terrible has happened. Hey, you're good. Something terrible has happened. I finally proposed to Elaine. Congratulations. That doesn't sound so ter- And when I placed the engagement ring on her hand, she was placed under a horrible pirate curse and trapped for eternity as a solid gold statue. Oh, that explains it. I was struck with a wave of overwhelming hatred and anger. Yeah, that LeChuck was a pretty mean guy. I was talking about Elaine. No, there's no time to worry about that now. We have to hurry. Do not panic, Guybrush. She will be safe until we can break the curse. You only have to worry about her being stolen. Where did you hide her? Hide her? You didn't hide her? She's a solid gold statue on an island full of pirates. What were you thinking? Go, Guybrush, hurry before you're too late. Elaine! I've got to get her back! This is so embarrassing. Looks like I'm gonna need some more help. Someone stolen Elaine! That is unfortunate. It will be difficult to get her back. Do you know who kidnapped her? Not for certain, but I suspect that it's the mangy pirates anchored in Danger Cove. Can you give me something to lift the curse? 
No, Lechuk's curse is a very powerful one. Fueled by his anger and his intense frustration in dealing with the opposite sex. I have nothing here to lift so powerful a curse, but there is one way. Great, tell me. You have to replace the cursed ring with a pure one of greater or equal value. A good guideline is two months' salary. Isn't there a more budget-conscious way to lift this curse? You should be able to do it with virtually no out-of-pocket expense. Perfect. How? Legends speak of a whopping big diamond ring on Blood Island. Blood Island? I've never heard of it. You will soon become quite familiar with it. But you must be careful, Guybrush. I have foreseen that your journey will be filled with peril and deception. Isn't there a less dangerous way? No. The value of the ring on Blood Island comes from its emotional significance. It represents a pure, true love. A power greater than any other. Oh, that's sweet. I... I think I have something in my eye. Do not mock the voodoo priestess. Well, how will I find the ring on Blood Island? All I can say is that I see a long and painful history connected with that ring. And I feel a great sadness associated with it. You will learn more once you have actually found the island. A barrel of grog! And a chicken! <laughs> Look at all this stuff, mate! Oh, that must have been some battle. Let's pull up anchor and make for Skull Island. King Andre will pay through the nose for all this loot. Wait a minute. There's something else. It's, uh... It's some kind of footwear. <laughs> hey! Those are nice boots. <laughs> but they're still hot. Ow, 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 ow! <laughs> Those must be the pirates who've taken Elaine. Fifteen men on a dead man's... Huh. Who are you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm a mighty pirate. Well, we'll just see how your threats sit with my captain. Your captain? Yes, Threepwood. You've come aboard the Sea Cucumber. I am Mr. Fossey, and the first mate. And my captain? Why, he's the scourge of the seven seas! The dread pirate, Lecha. Yes, Captain. It's on the table, sir. Lecha. That's right, Captain Lech. Yes, Captain. Just an intruder, sir. But I'm dealing with him. He says you're to be tortured. Choose your punishment. You can either be tarred and feathered, or you can walk the plank. Any tortures not involving pain, humiliation, or stickiness? No. Sorry. Well, I suppose we'll have to go with walking the plank. We're trying to avoid using the tar and feathers. It's messy, and we need to save the tar for emergency leak repair. What do you say, men? Can we make him walk the plank? <coughs> What's that, Captain? Vandals! Well, it looks like we're having technical difficulties, Threepwood. So we'll have to drag out the tar and feathers after all. <laughs> That'll learn ya!
So what do I do now? Hmm. I don't know. We've never done this before. Aren't you humiliated? I guess so, but no more than usual. Well, just get lost then. Chicken of Puerto Pollo! Ugh, this chicken grease washed off all the feathers. Uh, whoops, I better keep quiet. What's that, Captain? I eat too much fried chicken. Well, I... I've just got a weakness for chicken, that's all. I know you don't have any weaknesses, Captain LeChimp. You're an overachiever, a doer. Well, I'm just a tiny little fly. The chimp? The captain is an ape? Well, if the captain is an ape, then Mr. Fossey must be... Aye, aye, captain. Fresh bananas for the whole crew. An utter loon. You know, sir, finding this gold statue may be just the boost our crew needs. Why, with the riches we get from this, we can get new and better ships and become the terror of the Caribbean! Ahem. <clears throat> Mr. Fossey, I've been thinking. Are you all right, Captain? You sound different. Don't interrupt. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Maybe it's time we gave up pirating. I mean, take a look around, at me, at the rest of the crew. We're all... monkeys. You mean... in the Darwinian sense, sir? No, I mean in the quite literal sense. Uh, have you noticed that the crew is happier swinging from the masts than swabbing the decks? I don't even want to mention what they've been flinging around the ship. Are you suggesting that I'm not disciplining the crew enough? No, I'm suggesting that we all give up this charade and go back to the trees. That's the life for a monkey, not sailing the seas for months on end. Well, I, if you feel so strongly about it, sir, I suppose I can't argue. I think our last order of business should be to dig up that statue and... It'll be tough on the men, sir, but I'll tell them that you think it best. Okay, but first we should dig up that statue and give it to... I'll make sure they understand that it's not their fault. Very good. And then we can dig up that statue and... Okay, never mind then. That must be the map to where they've buried Elaine. Boots, huh? Sorry. Hey, what do you know? I really am big bone. Uh oh, quiet. Here comes Captain LeChuck. <laughs> Avast there, you lovers. Set sail for my stronghold on Monkey Island. I'll unleash my entire army of the undead. This time, Elaine will be mine. Ah, Elaine. It will be a sweet day in hell when you feel the fiery breath of my gifts on your lips and become my undead bride. And I'll destroy any man who dares get in my way. Suffer it, sailors. It is good to be dead. <laughs> Elaine should be safe up in the crow's nest. 
for now. Well, I've got a crew, a map, a ship, and finally got Elaine back. So what say we head on to Blood Island? To lift the curse and save Elaine! How about it, guys? Let's get moving towards Blood Island. Let's head on out and find our fortune. Guys? This might be more difficult than I first imagined. I guess I blacked out for a second. Where's Elaine? She flew a wee bit into the woods when we crashed. Then let's get going. We'll find her, then scour the island for the uncursed diamond ring that'll transform her back to normal. I don't be thinking we will, lad. What do you mean? I, I, I mean, what do you mean, Haggis? This be a mutiny, Captain. We're leaving you. Did I mention that I'm offering my crew a very attractive pension plan? Ah, uh, you did. And the stock options. But we're still leaving. Aye. We'll be sailing back to Plunder Island just as soon as we can fix the ship. Good luck, Captain Driftwood. It were a pleasure to be looting with you. I guess I'm on my own again. <laughs> Elaine looks like she's all right. Hang on, honey. I'm going to get you out of this mess. Yikes. <clears throat> oh, hello there. Who are you and what are you doing here? I am Mini Good Soup, last in a long line of eligible Good Soup debutantes. I was buried here exactly one week after my wedding day. A wedding day that never came. What happened? I was the belle of Blood Island. Oh, how the lads adored me. I was courted by the richest, most handsome men in the Caribbean. But all my suitors bored me to tears. I wanted someone dangerous. I wanted a pirate. By the way, what do you do for a living? Flooring inspector. Oh. Then one day, a real pirate sailed his ship into the bay. I fell for him instantly, and we became engaged. But he left me standing at the altar, and I died of a broken heart. Wow. That bites. Oh, I know. Hey, nice ring. Oh. I hate this ring. It's been passed down from mother to daughter in the Good Soup family for generations. It was to be my wedding ring until that evil pirate stole the diamond and left me. Left me here to die of a broken heart. Where's the diamond for your ring? It's gone. He took it. Who took it? My love. My honey cakes. My widow schnoo bombs. My lechuk. 
LeChuck is your schnoobums? He pried the diamond from its satin during the rehearsal dinner. Oh, what a fool I was. Where did LeChuck take the diamond? Cad! The fiend! He sold it to the smugglers of Skull Island. It's just so humiliating. I could just die. Since you're, uh, not using it, can I have your engagement band? <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, it looks like it's just about Elaine's size, but it needs a diamond to be complete. Have you found her, you cadaverous canine? Yeah, yeah uh, nope. Nope, she's not on Plunder Island, Captain LeChuck. <laughs> then scour the seas, you ossified rats! Hunt them down, then bring them to me. Find me, Guy Brush Drakewood. It's with him that you'll find Elaine. Burn down every island in the Caribbean if you have to. But bring me my bride. And more slaw! Curse those villains. They never give you enough slaw with these value meals. Hello. Can you tell me how to find the evil smugglers of Skull Island? The cave is halfway down this sheer cliff face. Climb on board this dumbwaiter. I'll, I'll lower you down. It looks pretty rickety. Are you sure it's safe? No. Well, it can't hurt to try, right? Hmm. Here we go. Okay, give me a little bit more slack. Whoops. Okay, that's too much slack. Ah! So, uh, where's this huge diamond you guys are supposed to have? Uh, well, hello. Let's talk, Mr. Uh... Threeport. Guybrush Threeport. Very well, Mr. Threepwood. I am King Andre, and this is my associate, Gruff. Were you looking for something in particular? The Good Soup Family Diamond. LeChuck stole it, you bought it, I want it. Now. <coughs> Please? Sir? The Good Soup Diamond is the centerpiece of my collection. The fantastic energy flowing through it is the key to all my power. So, can I have it? Of course you can't have it, unless you were to give me something in return. Maybe we could make a deal. As you wish. You are a formidable opponent, Mr. Threepwood, but it looks as if our game of cat and mouse must cease. It is a perfect diamond, one of the largest I've ever seen. I'll take it. And so it comes with a very large price. My partner and I are very fond of cards, uh, poker in particular. How about a little wager? If you can defeat us at poker, you win the diamond. Sounds fair. Very well. Let us begin. No whammies, no whammies. Five of a kind. Right there. Not even you guys can beat five of a kind. You're correct, Mr. Threepwood. We cannot beat five of a kind. The question remains, however, whether or not you can beat a pair. A pair? A pair of murderous smugglers. Huh? Us, Mr. Threepwood. I am talking about us. We're gonna kill you. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Whether or not you can beat a pair, that's pretty clever. Now, now, gentlemen. Let's not be too hasty. 
There's a delivery man out here with a package. You idiot! You blew out the lights! I got the diamond. Not for long, you little... Ouch! Hit him, not me, you cretin! Who are you balling up for? There he goes! Get him! Got what I needed from the smugglers. Brush? Where? Where are we? You're okay. We're on Blood Island. LeChuck's ring had a terrible curse on it, but I put everything right. You're safe and everything's gonna be fine. Just fine. <laughs> that be well spoken, pet. But save your breath, lass. You'll be needing it for when you scream, I do. Where... where are we? Don't you be remembering this place, Freepwood? Twas not long ago that I trapped you here to suffer tortures most foul. Wait, I can remember. I've seen this place before in some terrible nightmare. Twas no mere nightmare, Guybrush. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. Oh no, it can't be, but it is. This is the Carnival of the Damned. Aye, the Carnival of the Damned. You fiend, why have you brought us here? There be two reasons, you pathetic privateer. I be intending to torture and kill ye. And I'll be given Elaine a treasure. Ah, you're wasting your time, LeChuck. Elaine's love can't be bought. Ah, but this be a very special treasure. This be the fabled treasure of Big Whoop. Big Whoop? Aye, the very pirate treasure you were searching for before I caught up with ye. What's so special about the treasure of Big Whoop? Isn't it just like any other pirate treasure? I see. Ye do not yet know the dreadful power that be Big Whoop. I guess not. Quake in fear, Threepwood. But I tell thee, that Big Whoop be a damned portal to a demon netherworld. Okay. The treasures of Big Whoop be the very gates of hell themselves! Yipe. But how will Big Whoop make Elaine love you? Elaine shall pass through the hoary gates of Big Whoop, just as I once did. Down to the inky blackness of the infernal nether regions. For you see, Big Whoop gives those who pass through it the greatest gift of all, immortality. But at what cost? Cost? <laughs> Granted, the people may find me a bit unapproachable now, and the smell does take a while to get used to, but it'd be worth everything now that I have the power to make Elaine love me. But if you kill Elaine, won't she hate you even more? I at first, but soon she'll be understanding what a grand gift eternal life be. And besides, the dating pool be surprisingly small when you're the living dead. She'll just have to give me another chance. Elaine will never marry you. She loves me. She does not. She loves me. Nuh-uh. She loves me. Does not. 
Anyway, Elaine really loves me. Does not. Does two love me? Does not. Does two infinity? Does. Uh, ah! Curse you and your diabolical debate skills. I've heard enough of your evil stories. Let's get this over with. But there'll be so many more horrible things I'd be wanting to tell you. I'm not listening to you anymore. See, I'm ignoring you. Ah, you'd better listen. La 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 la, I can't hear you. La 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 la. Very well, Freeport. If you're going to act like a child, I'll help you get in the mood. I think you deserve a timeout, young man. Yikes! <laughs> it's not locked! Your plan was flawless, LeChuck, except for one minor detail. That will be your downfall. He's taking Elaine on his roller coaster of death! I've got to reach her before she becomes his undead bride. What's happened to me? Head foggy. Can't think. Mind swimming. Must concentrate and rescue Elaine. I've got to save Elaine. But how can I save Elaine when I'm just a little boy? Oh, if only I could think straight. Must clear my mind. <laughs> Welcome to the Big Whoop Carnival, little guy. Oh, for crying out loud. Monkey Mountain Roller Coaster. That's where LeChuck was taking Elaine. Well, I've got to get in there. I'd like a plain snow cone, please. Okay, kid. Bye now. Ah, brain freeze. She told me she was just going to powder her nose, and I haven't seen her since. I can't be believing I fell for that one again. Now stand still, boy, so I can flame broil you. Uh-oh. Ouch! Ow! Why haven't you been boiled in me molten pool of lava? Hmm. Elaine must have fiddled with me controls and rerouted the tracks. I she'll be the death of me yet. I mean, again. <laughs> but curses if I can't help but love the little woman. Eat flame and death, great wood. Darn it. Ouch!
Chuck's back again? I'll be chasing you around this roller coaster till you be my undead slave, Threepwood.